Hi there, welcome to the channel and welcome to the next episode in this guide series uh, for Carry Command. This one is about the drone control station. So there's three main screens here that you can see. I think this is uh, good for multiplayer because then more than one player can do drone control. But anyway, let me show you the basics of what all these uh, monitors do and switches do. So these are fairly explanatory. You can get some lights on your deck with these and move them around. Up the top you've got your runway lights. So we've got the start of the runway over there, the edge of the runway, and then the end of the runway. Moving across, we've got our log screen. This is pretty useful because um, if you have units that are destroyed, they'll show in here. I think even units you destroy show in here as well. If you do get one destroyed, it'll come up as red, and you also get a sound warning. Um, I can't remember what that sounds like, but you kind of have, it's, it's not obvious, so keep an ear out for it. Coming across here, we've got the air traffic control screen. This is your holding pattern for planes, and this one is for helicopters. And basically, if you've got more than one thing landing and someone has to wait, it'll kind of follow this holding pattern, or if it's a helicopter, it'll wait in this pattern here. And you'll also be able to see the ID, the handle, and the fuel of it. When you cross this one, you've got your CCTV screen. This will show the surface hanger and the air hanger. On auto, it'll skip between them. This here will show the status of your elevator. So at the minute, it's at the bottom because I've got a razor bill taken off, I believe. So that's down there. The crane status will show what's happening with your crane. So it might be lifting an aircraft and putting it down on the lift. It'll kind of give you updates as it's doing that and then we'll come to these main screens here now first we see these these are quick launch buttons quick launch buttons so if you click these deploy s1 s2 s3 s4 you can quickly deploy a vehicle they're linked to this screen here so a1 a2 a3 a4 and this is where you do your loadouts So coming back over here, let's click on the main screen and let's zoom in a little bit so I'm parked near an island at the minute. And the other way to launch craft is to actually click on your carrier and then you can see uh, whatever's deployed down here. So there's my two razor bills I've got deployed. And then if I hover over these I can see what loadout my units have got. So you need to kind of get to know these a little bit. So these are my virus bots. This is my 30mm cannon. And then you've got some missiles, chain guns. You know, you kind of need to learn these symbols a little bit. But they do show on that screen opposite, on the loadout screen. So I'm going to select my albatross. And I'm just going to set it away point in front. And then once that's done, I'm going to click on that waypoint. I'm going to make it go a little bit a little high, there we go, I'll leave it at that. Now I'm going to do a better guide on this screen, like maybe some strategies for islands and stuff, maybe uh, the different shield islands, so this is just going to be a basic rundown of how to control units on here. So I've got one waypoint set, now I want it to fly in a pattern around this island. I'm just going to draw a little pattern, just covering the entire island. And then on this last one, I'm going to join these up, and what will happen is this will loop. So as the aircraft comes in, it will then fly in this path, basically until it runs out of fuel, so keep an eye on it. You'll know if it's running out of fuel, there's two ways. The first way is to click on the unit and you can see the HP, the fuel amount and the ammo. These are also displayed on little bars next to these. You can also sense to the vehicle or select the camera. And the other way to know about the fuel and ammo is once it starts getting low you'll see a yellow 
icon underneath it'll either be the fuel or, or an, a bullet I think and if it's the bullet it means you're running low on ammo I think it goes yellow and then it goes red so if it starts flashing red especially for the fuel you might want to get it back as soon as so I'll get to this in a minute I just want to show you how the, how the holding pattern works I'm just going to make these land at the same time and then immediately you can see them on my holding pattern so this kind of extends the map here so my first razor bill this is the one that's landing first is here so this is going to have to pass this one and then this is my second one you can see the fuel level there that one's flying across here and then basically this one is going to wait in the holding pattern while this one lands there we go so let's go watch this Here they are, this one's coming in for landing, and that one is just going to wait there in the holding pattern until this one's landed. There we go, he's just there, he's coming down now. Apparently, I need a tutorial to open a door. Anyway, so let's look at this. So when you've got uh, something in the air, you can click it, and you can cl click on camera, and it'll take you to that unit. At the top, you've got all your different um, weapons and such. So it's important to note vehicle control. If you wanted to take control and use the weapons, you need to turn manual control on for both of them. So if I turn manual control on for this, if I want to fire that, and then go to actually pilot it, I have to go to manual on that as well. I'm not going to do that now. The second one is the most useful. So once I go to this camera, I'm going to press R. And now I can move this around. If you notice, when I zoom in, the camera is still moving. Which is, you know, hard to keep on a target. Or tag if I try and tag an enemy, I'm really struggling there. So you can press T to stabilise it. Or even better, you can press T again to do tracking mode, which then will stay on whatever you're pointing at. And this is how you uh, this is how you tag units. If I go there, I can wait till that gets 100%. I know it's a seal, and then the next scan will tell me what it's um, what weapons it's got. Now from here, another thing to know is let me just find my carry. My carry is over there. Now in the dark, it's, I can see the unit's headlights, but sometimes I want a bit more light. So if you can go to the flare, and let's just say I want the flare here. I'll click this. Oh, I haven't activated it. You've not activated your flares. It's this one here. Back to manual. And then I'll... Deploy the flare here, it's just going to get a targeting solution on the left. It's important to keep your your aim at where you want these things as well, so if you're firing a missile, you've got to keep it on there. And there you go, our flare's up, and we can now see pretty much the whole island here. So I can tag these units here. So I think I've got two seals there. Now I can fire the carrier gun, so I can aim at these, press fire, keep your cursor on them while it gets a solution, and there we go, it's fired, hopefully we'll get a hit since it's a tutorial, there it comes, boom, there we go. Next one is the missile, now I'm trying to get a a land target because if you do these if you do a missile or gun on water it's probably going to miss so here we go I'll just do another flare so we can see okay we've got a missile 
Now I'm going to fire the missile. And you can see the distance it is counting down. Now it's important to keep your tracking where you want the missile to go. It looks like this guy's going to go in water and it's going to ruin... Oh, there we go. So you can see it's going to be another 3,000 metres. But it will kind of follow where you're, what you're aiming at. So if I suddenly moved over here, the missile's going to go hit there. I'm going to keep it there. Really hoping that the seal doesn't move because we've got another 14 seconds to go. And the flare's going to go away, which is good because it'll be nice and bright. Now, if he's gone in the water, this could get ruined. There we go, okay. We've got a nice hit there. And if your units that you've deployed have um, artillery on them, you can deploy it with this, so at the minute I can't because I don't have any units with that. And if this keeps happening, sometimes it's best to go out and do it again. It says unavailable. Um, same for the guided missiles. If any of your units have guided missiles, you can paint them with this. That'll work like that. And then I think the last thing I'm going to show you is using your albatross to attack. So what you can do is rather than just dragging on your albatross and then the target, you can set it to a waypoint where you want it to start attacking from. So if I do this here, and then select guns, when it gets to that waypoint, it's going to set itself up on an attack run and come down here. So if it's not the right distance away, it will back off. Not sure if it's going to come in straight away. And to get the best look at this, press the number one. So it looks like it's turned around for to set the attack up. Yep, it's going to. Because it's got to lose altitude, because it's quite high. When you do this, you do put your um, units at risk. Because it's going to be quite low, so if there's a lot of units... Even without AA, if they've just got 30mm cannons, they'll still fire at this. So be careful, try not to do it in an area where it might get easily shot down. So the target we want is that one there. Hopefully he's not in water. Let's just switch back to the vehicle. There we go. See, you can see other people firing at us. And there we go. And what it does after that is it'll go to the next waypoint. That exclamation mark means it's been fired at. Got a nice red mark there that an enemy's been destroyed. And it's going to go back to this waypoint and then follow this path. So it's a nice way of setting your albatross or whatever unit to attack without ruining your waypoints. And you can do the same with um, the missiles as well. Just see if I can tag another unit. Okay. So now what I can do is, on this waypoint, I'm going to get to do a single missile. At the minute in the game, if you do double missile, as they're closing in, they tend to hit each other. So I don't recommend double missiles at the moment. Single missiles can sometimes miss as well, so I'm not expecting this one to hit. And if it's not a direct hit, I don't think it'll kill it. You do see their health as well, so when they go down, you see health here. One thing I'd like to know is what that number four is. I thought it was related to this, but I don't think it is. Okay, so it looks like he's set up, setting up here. Let's go to the normal view. There's the missile launch, and already it's going back to its waypoint. Let's use the gimbal camera to have a look. See if we get a hit. I'm not... if I'm confident or not. <laughs> okay. It took a little bit of damage. Didn't kill it. So you can see there... 
It um, took a lot of his health, but it didn't kill it. It wasn't a direct hit. Last thing, the other thing I like to do is automated missions. So I have a, a virus bot here. So what I like to do is, I like to get it set up somewhere not far from the island, make sure it's away from everything, set a go code, and then give it its mission. So I want it to come here. When it gets there, I want it to deploy the virus box. And then I want it to head straight back to the carrier. So you can kind of set up automated missions. You can do this with raised bills and stuff. Um, well, any unit really. You can set up your seals on kind of a front line and get them to move forward to, to go codes and stuff. If you've ever played Rainbow Six, the old ones, you'll know what I mean. Um, but yeah, it's just a nice, uh, nice little thing to do there. And then when you know the island's clear, you can just click Alpha Go and it will do that mission. And that's the drone control station. Thank you very much for watching if you made it this far. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you've got anything... Oh, look, 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 look. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. So you can see vehicle destroyed all in the log. Once again, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> please like and subscribe. Put any comments below if you uh, find anything useful or if you want to know anything else. Um, if I've said anything wrong, I'm sure people will call me out on it. So have a look at the comments. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.